In this quick video, I'll show you how to use an external drive to store your games when using Crossover and Steam on Mac. If you're using Crossover on Mac, then an external drive is pretty much a must. Crossover uses bottles to run your games. If something happens to your bottle, or if you need to make a new bottle for whatever reason, your games will be deleted and you'll need to redownload them. With your games stored on an external drive, Gaming is as easy as plugging your drive in, selecting it in Crossover, and playing your games. Let's check out how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in an external drive. I recommend using a solid state drive because they're faster, but a high speed hard drive should be fine as well. Once we have our drive plugged in, we're going to open Disk Utility. I'm going to select the external drive in Disk Utility and click Erase. I'm going to give the drive a name. For format, choose APFS, and for scheme, we're going to do GUID partition map. Before you click erase, if it's not obvious, clicking this button is going to delete everything on your external drive. Once disk utility is done, you can click done and exit out. So next I'm going to go to Finder, and you can see that under my connected drives, it has our Steam Games drive. So let's open up Crossover. So here are my bottles in Crossover. This is my main Steam one, so let's connect our hard drive to this one. So I'm going to select my Steam bottle, and then I'm going to go under Control Panels and select Wine Configuration. Once the Wine Configuration window pops up, we're going to go to Drives, and here are all the drives that our bottle has access to. We want to add a new drive, so I'm going to click Add, and I'm going to choose a drive letter. Once the Q drive is added, make sure it's selected, select Browse, and we're going to make our external drive the Q drive. So scroll down to the bottom, click on Volumes, and here's our Steam Games drive. I'm going to select it, hit OK, hit Apply, and then OK. Now our external drive has been added to our Steam bottle. Let's launch Steam. Once Steam is open, we're going to go to our Steam Settings by clicking Steam, Settings, and then we want Storage. Under Storage, click on the Drive drop-down menu, and we're going to add our drive. And Steam should automatically uh, find your Q drive and hit Add. Now our drive is ready to go. So if I want to download a game, let's say I want to play Cuphead, when I click install and my drive is plugged in, I now have the option to select my Q drive for where the game is downloaded to. If I go to Finder and I go to my drive, there's a new folder called Steam Library, and you can see it's now downloading uh, Cuphead directly to the external drive. So let's walk through it one more time. This time I'll use a drive that I have a ton of games already installed on. So I choose my Steam bottle, I go to Wine Configuration, Drives, Add a Drive, Choose a letter, I'm going to do X this time, click Browse, scroll down, Volumes, choose your drive, mine is called Ruby, so I'm going to select that, hit Apply, OK. Now it's added to our bottle, we can go to our Steam, Settings, Storage, under Storage click the drop down menu, click Add Drive, and select your X drive. Just like that, all the games that I have on my drive are ready to play. So yeah, that's all there is to it. I highly recommend using this method to store your games. It works with Mac native Steam, Steam through Crossover, the EA app, Ubisoft, and more. Pretty much every game launcher has the option to download your games to an external drive, so you don't just have to stick with Steam. Thanks for watching this quick video, and happy gaming.